Hi. Well, I just got back from the cinema. Halloween Ends was fucking brilliant. I've got to say. Yes, I loved Halloween Kills last year, but this fucking tops it. I'm, I'm not even kidding. I don't give a fuck what the critics say. This was a fucking masterpiece. This was mustard. Wow. Now, this, I, I was well impressed. Especially especially how it ended. Like, I know there's a few people that... There's a lot of people who still haven't seen it yet, so... I'm not going to... I'm not going to give away too much. But yeah, I liked the story. I liked the idea of... You know, the copy... You know, the copycat killer. It kind of reminded me of Friday the 13th, A New Beginning. Which is a movie I really like. Well, I love it, actually. It's brilliant. And yeah, I was well impressed. I'd say, you know, when I did the ranking of Halloween, I put Halloween Kills at number one. I think if I was doing the ranking now, I'd put Halloween Ends at number one. This is my new favourite. I'm not just saying that. This was a 10 out of 10. I can't, I couldn't fault this movie. This was a 10 out of 10. And I actually hope this is the last film of the franchise. I mean, I mean, for those of you who have seen it, if you, you know what happened at the end, then it, it ended perfectly, you know. I was worried how it was going to turn out. But yeah, there was no cliffhangers or anything. It actually had a really good end, positive ending. You know. And I hope that they don't try and wreck on it or anything, because now this was this was a perfect close to the to this, to this trilogy. And if they want to continue the Halloween franchise, I'd say a sequel to Halloween Three would be very welcoming. But now this was a perfect. I'm hoping this is the final film of the franchise because this is like this is the perfect end. For yep, for those of you who haven't seen it yet, you're you're gonna love it. You are going to fucking love this. I'm just so impressed. I can't praise this enough. Another thing that happened tonight when I went to the cinema, I met this guy who was dressed in a Michael Myers costume. You know, it actually looked like the real Michael Myers. You know, the mask, it looked authentic. It, you know, it was a... It was a replica. He was wearing the suit and he was carrying a... It was a fake knife. And yeah, I actually... Uh, I took a selfie with him. I'll put it... I'll show you now. So yeah, that's... This has made my night. Yeah, I won't forget this night. Meeting Michael Myers. I know it wasn't really him. It was just a guy in a, in a suit. But yeah, well, he said he said to me when he he said you better be com hit, coming here to watch my movie tonight. <laughs> but yeah, no, I had a fantastic time tonight. I probably I'll I'll probably go and see it again. And yeah, when this comes out on DVD sometime next year, you can you can bet your ass I'm gonna buy it. You can be sure that I am. So, I hope you enjoyed. Hope you enjoyed my 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 mini review. I know it's not very in depth, but I'm not a, I'm not a professional film critic, and I don't claim to be. All I'm doing is just giving my opinion. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed that, and go and see the film if you haven't already. Please do. And I'll see you soon.